Hello again. Um, I have another unboxing video for you. Uh, this one's still pretty taped up, so I'm not quite used to this box. I'm used to the uh, other ship anything $5 box, so it may take me a moment to figure out which one is the best side to open this up from. Uh, let's see. And there's one. Okay. Of course, I gotta get the other side. You can tell I don't usually buy these boxes to ship anything in. Although it is a very nice size, so hard to find the uh, right size of box that you want for half of these figures. Hi, son. Had to check and see if he actually showed up on video or if it just looks like I'm talking to myself, which technically I am. Um, don't bite that. eat my staging area. Okay. There we go. Now I can put that down. And this box, actually, I already know what's in here, um, has a custom figure and another one, which is going to go with my Arkham Asylum Harley Quinn. I did not have the Joker, but now I do. And of course this is the one from Arkham Asylum as opposed to Arkham City. As you can see from his face, he doesn't have the uh, sickly look yet to his makeup from the transformation that he goes through between the two games. Um, his little coat is very floppy, kind of neat. Um, you'd think that his the bottom of his shirt would be too, but it's not. His uh, tie and his flower are also pretty hard and immovable, but his belt is actually a chain. So that's kind of neat. And you can see the bottom of it shining through a little bit. Um, you know, this doesn't quite move like a DCUC character does, as you can see from his, uh, pointing toe. He doesn't quite stand, uh, flat-footed. But now Harley is no longer alone, so that's very cool. And secondly, I have, this is a custom that I bought off someone. Um, oh shit, I think she used to have glasses, but uh, it appears that they broke, maybe? Um, but it's Jubilee. Um, you can see there's a bit of a dirty look to her coat. Um, some minor pink rub, but I'm not quite sure who the base figure was that they used her from, but it's a pretty good look, I think, for a custom. It turned out really well. Um, the earrings are pretty neat. Um, like I said, I think the glasses are broken. I'm not sure. Uh, I didn't see it in the packaging, so I'm not sure if it happened before or when. Um, if anyone, if anyone knows what the base figure is for her, please feel free to chime in. She's rather cool, though. Um, I'm a big Jubilee fan. Is her back? Um, can't really tell about the shorts, the head, the coat, or the body even. But I like her, and until they actually 
make one, which hopefully with the Marvel Universe figure being made, they will. Um, this Jubilee is actually a very, very pretty addition to my collection. Um, actually looks a lot better than that classic Rogue from the 5-pack, I think it was, that was released early 2000s sometime. So, probably the best looking female MU next to Hope that I have at the moment. Alright, um, thanks for watching as usual again. And uh, there's your unboxing. Two very different figures, Marvel and DC. Hope you enjoy and stay tuned to uh, Action Figure Appreciation Day on August 24th. I will have another package that came in. I don't want to open just yet. I will save it for then and do a short shout out and um, he will definitely be my appreciation figure for the day um, because it's something that I've wanted for quite some time and I finally got him. So we'll see you then. Thanks for watching and till next time.